All right, the man with the immigration plan. I'm not talking about President Obama. I am talking about Wisconsin Republican Senator Ron Johnson. He's been working on a bill putting the focus on border security over freezing these deportations of illegals, potentially millions of them. Uh, the good senator joins you right now. Senator, thank you. Um, what do you got? Well, Neil, first of all, let me start by wishing all of our veterans a happy uh, Veterans Day and thanking them and their families for their service and sacrifice. You know, what I've got is uh, when I become chairman of Homeland Security Government Affairs Committee, what we're going to list as a top priority securing the border. This is well, well past time to do that. And there's, there's plenty of uh, plans on the table there. We can take uh, some of the work in the Senate comprehensive bill. We can take a look at uh, some of the things that uh, Chairman McCall's done in the the House Homeland Security Committee, as well as uh, Chairman Goodlatte and the Judiciary well, what Committee. Does do, what plans. does yours do, What does yours do? Well, what I do, I think, in, in particular, is you combine a robust guest worker program, because I think that's what, what does, is lost in this discussion and what is, will be so damaging about President Obama taking unilateral action. If he defers action on uh, deportations, for example, that's going to be an incentive for illegal immigration. So what we need to do is we need to eliminate or drastically reduce those incentives for illegal immigration. Of course, the number one incentive is people coming here looking for work, you know, for that kind of opportunity. So let's have a functioning guest worker program. And Neil, I'd attach to that uh, prevailing wages, minimum wages, so that we're not incentivizing employers to, to bring in labor that uh, would depress American wages. So it's just kind of a common sense approach. Let's eliminate all the incentives for illegal immigration, it'll, it'll really reduce those illegal immigrants down to a trickle, and then it's going to be a whole lot easier to secure our border. All right, but do you start with securing the border? Because the rap against Ronald Reagan when he headed into a, uh, an immigration agreement with Democrats, I think it was back in 1986, is uh, at least Republican charge at the time, Senators, I'm sure you're aware that the Democrats didn't live up to their bargain and the border was never enforced. Would you insist, as others have, that border first, all this other stuff second? And then how would you verify it? Yes. Yes, you, you, you have to secure the border first. But again, what, the point I'm making is the best way to secure the border is to reduce all the incentives for illegal immigration. The number one incentive really is people coming here to work. So you have to have a functioning guest worker program. I think that's just being missed in the discussion. So you, you, you reduce the number of people coming over here, it's a whole lot easier to actually secure the border. You'll need less fencing, less surveillance. You'll need less uh, Border Patrol agents than if you continue down this path of deferring action and in, right. in, actually increasing the incentives. That's what President Obama did with deferred action on childhood admissions. The result of that memorandum was the flooding of the border with all these kids out of Central America. So we've got to stop the flow. That's the first achievable goal of policy. Well, then let me ask you this. If the president still goes through with his plan, the executive order, to delay deportations for millions of illegals already here, is that a non-starter with you? Do you think that it so poisons the well? Some of your colleagues have talked about it, it, it being unconstitutional. Where do you stand? Well, I think it will help poison the well, which is not a good thing. It's not the way you start the discussion. But if anything, it's going to ramp up the need to secure the border because, again, what that will do is it will increase the incentives for people to come here legally, which makes it even more important that we first secure the border. So from my standpoint, regardless of what President Obama does, we need to pass a border security bill as the first step in, in solving the, not only the illegal immigration problem, but, Neil, it's a public health and safety issue. It's a national security issue. So I think, you know, all the uncertainty created by this, by this administration, all, all the lack of security facing America right now just points to the fact that number one priority has to be to secure the border. So real quickly then on that point, do you think if the president were to push this executive order, but it's part of a, a way to win guys like you over, he says, I will do your border thing simultaneously. What does Senator Johnson say? Well, if, if he actually does an executive order, he sounds like he's going to do that during the, during the lame duck. I won't be chairman until the next uh, Congress takes, takes effect. So, again, regardless of what he does, we have to press forward with a border security bill. That, that's the first thing we have to do. No matter, no matter what he does, we must secure the border. All right. Senator Johnson, good seeing you again. Thank you. Have a great day. This